what is going on everybody hope everybody's staying safe having a good year today i wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the theme park app from samsung now if this video is giving you some sort of deja vu it's because i had a pretty in-depth tutorial of this app not too long ago but samsung has completely overhauled this app and that video that tutorial which was doing quite well is now starting to pick up uh, quite a few thumbs down after samsung uh, had completely overhauled that app and uh, that tutorial has basically been rendered outdated so let's dive right into it obviously you have to pick up this theme park app from the galaxy app store not the regular google play store so you go in there you download it and then you start using it as you would any other app so i have it here pinned to my home screen i'm using a samsung galaxy s21 with the official galaxy s21 leather cover so let's launch the app here i've got it right on my home screen and as soon as you launch it it'll show you past projects that you had been working on and it'll give you a button there to create a new theme or to just create a new keyboard theme or a quick panel theme now if you remember being able to customize your quick panel used to be in an app called goodlock and in a component of goodlock called quick panel well that has completely changed so if you have been opening Good luck waiting for an update to be able to customize your quick panel this is the reason why you have not been able to do that they have moved and sort of reintegrated some components of good luck into theme park i guess to kind of make it a little bit more coherent in their eyes so uh, again if you wanted to customize your quick panel this is where you do it and we'll get to that in a second so uh, let's create a new theme obviously you press this button here with the plus sign it says create new you can choose to stick with your current wallpaper or you can choose something from your gallery so let's go with i don't know what reminds us of spring a little bit maybe this one maybe not entirely spring like but certainly looks like spring or summer perhaps and definitely not winter so you can frame the wallpaper as you like you can zoom into a specific part of the wallpaper or drag the frame around of course, the more higher def the photo or the wallpaper is, the better, the clearer it'll look. So I'm gonna go ahead and frame this as we just did and click on done. So once you do that, it is going to automatically create a theme based on the colors of the wallpaper you chose. So let's tap next and there you have it. So as soon as you tap on next, you're going to get these little frames, almost like little thumbnails of different sections of your wallpaper and how it would look. And one important thing to remember, you see this little icon of a sun up here. That is because there's going to be a light mode version of your wallpaper and a dark mode version of your wallpaper. So whichever modes you're switching in between, your custom theme will have a look for that mode, whether light or dark. So you see if I tap on that, it becomes a moon and it shows you the dark mode version of your theme. As I typically keep my phone in dark mode, I'm gonna start working on this theme in dark mode. So on the very bottom here, it asks you to select a main color and style. The color and style affects the overall colors and mood of your theme. So you've got a list of colors here. So let's say I select this gray color here. If I tap on that, then I get further options here on how I want to customize this theme. You can go double black here. You can go this gray and black, etc. I would probably pick this double black here, but it's gonna make it a little bit difficult to show you some of the other customizations uh, that I wanna show you here. So I'm gonna just go with this sort of gray and black combination. And then once you pick that, you can just scroll to the side here and check out a couple of the different thumbnails which show you how your theme would look. You can see your quick panel, you can see how notifications would look, etc. And then you can dive in deeper to customize these. So you tap on this little pencil icon here on the side and you can customize little aspects of your theme. And don't forget each little circle down here with a color represents an element of your theme and its corresponding color. You can swipe to the side here and get more options. Now, something that you might find a little bit easier to do, you can actually tap on one of these thumbnail images, thumbnail cards here, and customize based on that instead of going super deep and customizing based on these circles of colors here at the bottom. Now, you can't tap, tap on all of these, but you can tap on some of them. So for example, if I wanted to customize how the keyboard's gonna look, I can tap on here, and an example of how my keyboard would look shows up. Now, this is only specific to the Samsung keyboard. So if you're using Gboard or Swift key or anything, this is not customizing that. This is if you use Samsung keyboard. So it'll show you a circle that is connected to a little dot here, which shows you what that color is for. So for example, this little W here with the dot shows the font color. So if I tapped on that, 
then it shows me what the font color is, which is white here. And then you can choose to change that if you want. Now, if your keyboard is really dark like this, dark grays and dark blacks, then I'm, I'm assuming you probably want the actual characters to show up as white. But just to show you, if I change it to this gray here, tap OK, all of a sudden you see that W becomes a gray color here. So it shows you that that has been changed. And so you can go ahead and customize all of that based on what you want. I'm gonna change that back to white. Tap on OK. And if you tap this little pencil icon here, it just changes between the edit view and your preview view. It just shows you exactly, without all those diagrams, how it's gonna look. You tap it again and you can get right back into editing mode. Now, you just go back and you can go into another element, for example, your quick panel here. So you tap on that and you can start editing elements of your quick panel. So as I said, these little dots correspond to these circles and it tells you what color that is. So this, there's a blue dot right there and a circle corresponding to it right above it that tells me the color of the icon here. So let's say I wanted it to match uh, some of the colors that are on the screen a little bit more. I'll tap on that and I can adjust the saturation here, which takes it away from black and white and makes it more, shows you all the colors. So let's see here. Uh, maybe I'm going to make, uh, I'm just gonna make that black. I'm gonna make that black and then we'll see what we're gonna do from there. So if I press okay, you see that I made those little icons within the circles black. Now, what color do I wanna to make the actual circle that that's enclosed in? I tap on the corresponding circle here. Again, the dot shows you what you're going to be editing. I'm going to adjust the saturation and I'll probably make it some type of shade of orange just to match the background a little bit better. Let's see, maybe, maybe that's good. And then you can also alter the transparency. So the transparency of that little circle there. So I will change the, tra oops, I will change the transparency a little bit. I like it to look a little bit transparent. So let's see how that's gonna look here. Now I press okay and you see it's kind of orange and black. Now, of course you can mess with this how you want. This is just an example. I think when you really start to sit there, sit down and design, you're gonna be really meticulous with it and make sure it's something that is to your liking. Now let's adjust how it's going to look when you have one of these options off. For example, if Bluetooth is off, it's not gonna have that orange circle around it. So uh, the example they give you here is they have a dot over airplane mode over the circle for airplane mode. So let's tap on that. That is completely transparent right now. So when you have something turned off, there is no circle around it. Let's change that. I'm gonna make the transparency a little bit higher and I'm gonna choose from a recent color just so that it matches a little bit. Let me again, put that transparency back down a bit. So when I press okay here, you see that when something is off, it's sort of the same shade, but just more transparent. And when something is on, it's a lesser transparency. And I want these uh, icons to match in color. So I'm gonna make this black as well. I press okay. And there you go. We've edited our quick panel. On the bottom, you can change the blur level. This blur level is just for the background when you pull down the quick panel. So obviously the less that blur is, the more clearly you see the wallpaper. I like the blur level to be pretty high. So I'll just put it at almost 100% here. And I go back and then you see the work that we've done. Again, you cannot tap on and customize all of these little cards. So for example, if I tap on this example of what the messaging app would look like, I get this little vibration animation. If I tap here, I can't do that. If I tap here, I can't do that. But you can edit what some of these elements are gonna look like down here. So these circles down here with the colors don't tell you exactly, there are no labels that tell you exactly what the color corresponds to. So it, you might have to do a little bit of trial and error on this. So again, you can swipe left or right to really dive deep in there. Uh, one good way to tell what it's editing exactly would be to tap on one of the colors and then choose something that's not on your screen, uh, on, in your a part of your theme, I should say. Tap OK there. So you see that color edited the text in your notifications and edited the font color as well in your settings menu. You probably don't want that. So you can go back and change it back to white and you can just go in here and mess with it how you please and you will see the previews up here, pretty straightforward. So only when you tap on some of these, there will be a label on the bottom, but that label is not always clear as to what it's corresponding to. So again, you're gonna have to maybe do a little bit of that trial and error until you memorize what each and every one of these labels means. But let's change this gray to a black here. So I changed it to a black and I pressed okay. And that changed 
my notifications to a black background instead of that darker gray. And I like that and I'm going to keep that. So let's say we're done with the dark mode portion of our theme here. I'm gonna tap this and edit the light mode portion of our theme. So I'll tap on this card here, which edits our quick panel, just once again to show you how to do that. So I tap over here. I'm gonna change the icons similarly to how I did with our dark theme. So this is going to become, let me change the saturation. This is going to become an orange shade. Press okay there. And I'll keep these white since we're on our light theme, not our dark one. So I'll change these black icons over to white as well. And there we have it. Now let's change, I forgot to change the transparency. So we can easily go back and do that. Let's change it to something like that, press okay. And then the transparency on here, let us change it to something like that and make it the same color that we used, but edit the transparency, press okay. And there you go, it's kind of similar to how we had it on the dark mode theme, except the icons within the circles themselves have uh, are white instead of black. So that's about it, guys. It's pretty straightforward here. So we head back and you see how the theme looks. Here's how it looks in dark mode. Here's how it looks in light mode. And when you're done, you just tap this little download icon here on the top right, and you wanna name your theme. I don't know, I'll call it spring 2000. Oh, you can't put a space. Okay, spring uh, 2021. Now, typically if I sit there and make a spring app, there will be greens in it and everything. And I kind of associate orange with more autumn, more fall. I guess I associate aqua and teal with summer and maybe blue with winter, red with the holidays. So you can mess with it however you like. This is just an example. I'm gonna tap okay here. This is preparing data, installing theme. And there's your theme, it's been installed and you see the name of it here, spring 2021. Now it's not applied right away. If you wanna apply it, you just tap on it and tap apply. And there you have it, it goes straight to the home screen. You see your theme. My widget kind of disappeared here, but it's probably going to refresh and all that right away. If you scroll down here, there you see it. You see your theme, you see everything that you worked on. You see this notification here about the weather. It's got a black background, just as we said it. Now, if you would like to go back to what it was by default, then you go back into Theme Park and you just tap it once again, and it'll uncheck that check mark and go back to the default. Now you do lose your wallpaper when you do that and some of the settings that you had previously, as you see, it went back to a default Samsung wallpaper, not the one that I had before, but it otherwise went back to the default theme. Now, a couple other things I'll show you here in Theme Park. If you do not care about designing a whole entirely different theme, you can design only a new keyboard for the Samsung keyboard, or just go ahead and edit your quick panel. So if you tap on keyboard there, you can work on something you did previously or create new. And when you create new, it looks exactly how it did when we designed an entirely new theme where it shows you all of these little customizable sections. It'll have a dot with a circle corresponding to the element and the color that you are changing. Uh, and then once you press that download button there, your keyboard will be changed. I personally don't use the Samsung keyboard right now, so that won't be too relevant to me. But if you go back here, you can do the same thing with quick panel. So you tap on quick panel. So if you just wanna edit the quick panel and this part that you see here, when we swipe down on it, then you can do that. Uh, we can create new just to show you an example here and it'll just randomly generate a bunch of colors and you can go ahead and customize to your heart's content. You can choose a main color here. I'll choose, uh, maybe I'll choose a shade of green since we were talking about spring, maybe something like this. I like that color. So if I press okay, it changes the combination completely. And then we can go ahead and customize as we would like to do. So I'll do this. I'll choose this recent color that I had. Uh, I'll keep this at black, but uh, I'll actually go ahead and change the transparency as I've done before. So let's go ahead and do that. Tap okay. And then I will change this to the same shade, but a lower transparency and there you go you see you're on and you're off here and again just like with the theme you're changing a light mode version and a dark mode version so if i do this this is what the dark mode version looks like you're going to go ahead and have to change all of that uh, etc so let's go ahead and do that just to show you real quick once again let's go back here into these this uh, dark mode 
change that, make this that color, change the transparency. And there we go, so I've edited the dark mode portion. And you see the light theme version, and I'll change this stuff for the light theme, maybe uh, do that, change this. So, and you, you see how that works. And then when you're done, like I said, you just press that download button, you give it a name, I'm just going to call it test, press okay. And then there you see it there. And again, if you wanna apply it, just like with the theme, you have to tap on it and tap apply and it will apply. So now if I go back to the home screen, swipe down and we see the quick panel that we just customized, looks great. So if you wanna go back into theme park and you tap on that quick panel that you customize once again, and it'll go back to the default, just like with the theme that you made. So that about does it guys. I hope I clarified some of these changes with theme park for you. Again, my previous tutorial is now pretty quickly outdated. Samsung seems to be integrating a lot of different customization options into one app and one system. So that's why quick panel customization is here in theme park along with keyboard customizations. If you have any questions, let me know. Your subscriptions have been a big help in being able to bring you unboxings and little tutorials like these. So if you like videos like this and want to see new devices, new color variants, etc., hit that subscribe button. I've got more stuff coming for you, including that Phantom Gold S21 Plus, which should have been here earlier this week, but the weather has completely screwed everything up. So I'm hoping to get my mitts on that soon. Stay safe, everybody. Hang in there, and I will see you in the next video.